Greetings, and in this tutorial we're going to look at batch rendering from FL Studio. That is, automatically rendering all projects in a folder to audio. The first thing is to open the command line editor. I'll type cmd into the Windows search bar, and here it is. If the text is too small, you can right click on the title bar and select properties. I'll change the font size to 24. Time for a crash course in command line editing. We're currently in a folder on the C drive, users Scott. I can type cd dot dot to change directory up one level. Typing dir directory shows what's in that folder. So below this location, there are folders like public and Scott. Typing cd change directory to Scott will go into that folder. To see all commands, just type help. You can roll your mouse wheel or use the scroll bar to move up and down in the window. Now we want to open FL Studio and to do that, let's navigate to the folder where FL Studio is located. So we know CD is changed directory, but before I type in the path, the easiest way is to right click the FL Studio icon and open file location. Now at the top of the file browser, you can just click and drag on the folder icon into the command line window and it's done. So we have CD to C, program files, image line, FL Studio 12. Will it work? Yes. Typing DIR shows all the files we expect. And that matches what we see in the standard Windows browser. Nice. Now I can start FL Studio by typing fl64.exe. That's the 64-bit version of FL Studio. Perfect. Now it's time to enter the commands that tell FL Studio to render all projects in my tutorial folder. So it was fl64.exe to open FL Studio, and now the special commands. Forward slash R to render, then forward slash E to export. This is where we can specify the file formats. I want MP3 and WAV, so it's MP3, WAV. Notice there's no space after the E. And finally, we need to specify the folder where the projects are located. So it's forward slash F for folder, and I'll open a regular file browser and again drag and drop the path where the projects are. Excellent. My files are in the FL Studio installation path under Data Projects Tutorial. Two very important notes. First, projects in subfolders to the ones specified will also be rendered. Very handy. And second, if you type the paths manually, don't forget to put the path in quotes. The quotes allow you to use spaces in the path names. Without the quotes, it won't work. So let's go. Enter. Excellent. And in the tutorials folder, I see MP3 and WAV versions of each project. Let's have a listen. Cool. And with that, you know how to batch render from FL Studio using a command prompt. To see the full syntax for commands, check the manual under Save and File Export Formats at the bottom of the page. Time to go batch render all your projects. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.